Have you ever heard of flying boats? No, not Captain Hook's ship at the end of Peter Pan, but real life flying boats called flying clippers. Those flying boats were only around for a short time, but back in the 1930s and early 1940s, people actually flew in them. Can you think of a reason to have an airplane that could land on water? Hi, I'm Laura, and this is the America by Air exhibition at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. Today, I'm talking to an expert on flying boats, Dr. Bob Vanderlinden. So, why did the Pan American Airline operate flying boats? The reason Pan Am used flying boats was because they wouldn't need uh, airfields to land on. Pan Am used flying boats to open service across the Pacific and also across the Atlantic. And to do so, they need a large aircraft with large uh, capacity for the passengers and an awful large capacity for fuel. And a, a flying boat could carry that. And there were no air, airports at that time that could handle an airplane that large. And most of the major cities are along coastal areas, so it made sense. Flying on a flying boat was very luxurious. Passengers were treated to first class service. The flying boats had lounges, dining rooms, sleeping areas, private compartments, and a whole lot more. They were competing with steamships for their customers, and they're competing for only the very high-end customers, the very wealthy, and the businessmen, because it was like $1,000 to fly to South America. And that's $1,940, which is equal to about $10,000 today. You often had as many crew members on board the airplane as you had passengers, sometimes a lot more just to cater to the passengers every whim uh, because they expected that. They, they would be treated like that in first class service on a steamship, so they expected to be treated like that on the airplane. The flying boats were quite popular for about 10 years during the 1930s. World War II helped bring about the end of flying boats, but not the way you might think. Pan Am and others contributed to the war effort by building concrete runways all around the world. So after the war, now Pan Am and all the rest of the airlines had concrete runways, so they didn't need flying boats any longer. A flying boat is very big and comfortable, but it's not that efficient because you're, you're carrying a very heavy hull up through the air. Uh, a land plane is more efficient. More efficient, that basically means something works better. So now you could operate land planes around the world because they had a place to land. So Dr. Vanderlinden, how did World War II lead to the end of the flying boats? The flying boat was designed to fill a need, a niche market, because of what happened and during the war with the construction airfields after the war, it was no longer needed. And they went to a newer technology and a better technology. So that's what happened to the flying boats. Too bad technology caught up with them before I was able to ride on one, because those flying boats sure do look cool. On the other hand, it's a good thing that airplanes can land all over the country and not just near water. It would be a long drive inland to visit someone in Nebraska. Here's a little assignment for you. Jot down a list of other things that faded away because a better technology was invented. Share that list with your teacher and your classmates. See you next time.